Show and tell time. After my father died years ago, uh, I got some of the stuff that he owned. And that was awesome. Some of the stuff got damaged in the fire, but I would clean them up and keep them. Some things I didn't keep, like a he actually had a cannonball, and I didn't know. I cleaned it up, and it kept giving a, like this stuff on your hands every time you touched it. Well, little did I know that the cannonball is that way. It's just made that way. No matter how much you clean it, it's never going to get where you can just touch it and nothing comes off. But it was actually worth money, and I threw it away because I was tired of dealing with it. So anyway, one of the things that he got meant so much to him, even though it doesn't work anymore, and that is his metal detector, his coin master. And I'm sure if they got, you know, somebody could fix it up, because anything can be fixed up, can it? But this thing is so primitive, you know, it finds everything in the ground. I, I don't know how my dad had the patience to use this thing, which he used it for years, okay? This was his pride and joy. Here's the end of it, right here. He found coins, he found rings, he found necklaces. Sometimes when he was digging, he'd find coins and money, dollar bills actually, they were ripped up and stuff, uh, torn, but in the ground. He found cannonballs, he found just so much stuff. Uh, I actually videotaped it, it's up on, it's on a, a DVD over there. I should have actually put it in this video. Anyway, I did use it in the beginning when I got here. Uh, I discovered it, it finds everything so you're digging up everything in the ground um, and in my yard I found absolutely no coins whatsoever not even a penny but I did find that one coin that I made the video for or uh, show and tell the, uh, the five cent piece that I found but that wasn't with the metal detector I was just digging in the ground uh, underneath the uh, kitchen floor so anyway um, I decided to buy a metal detector and so I bought a white 6000 Pro XL. Uh, I'll show you a picture of it right here. And that thing was awesome. I used it and it found everything before you dug it up. It would tell you what it was, you know. Was it silver? Was it gold? Was it uh, a nickel, a quarter, a dime, a uh, half dollar? It was awesome. The, and it said how deep it was. But it's now hard to do that because parks around here won't let you. There's rules now. You can't use it at different places. And people don't want you in their yard digging. He had a reputation with this metal detector. He could go anywhere in uh, Garnett and, and other towns. He had, a, he had built up a reputation of making that ground look like the way it was before he started digging. Um, my yard has coal in it. After you burn coal, it ends up having an iron core in the middle. And so this thing went crazy. It found every piece of it. My metal detector was able to discriminate, discriminate it out because that's what mine could do. Mine could, uh, you know, if you don't want to find something, you just take it out of there. But his found everything. He said that the way he did it is it would make uh, certain sounds a little bit different, like what a nickel and a penny would sound different. And then you could tell by the uh, deepness uh, you know it would give an idea so he worked out this system of pretty much knowing what it was before he dug it up so I've kept it I don't know if I can ever get it fixed you know fixed up again this part right here broke um, I'm not sure if it will even turn on anymore but I've kept it and I will keep it for as long as I'm alive because it meant something to him and anything that he owned meant something to me you know I love my father Okay, you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching and God bless.